Hi students, uh, this is Dr. Hemant Kumar and along with me is Dr. Vijay. Uh, we are faculty for medical oncology at Doc Tutorials and today we are going to interview one of our uh, uh, INISS uh, toppers, uh, Dr. Rishabh Jain. He is AIMS Merit Plus Rank 3. Hi Rishabh. Hi sir. Hi. Good to have you here. So uh, we'll have a quick chat with him. So uh, Rishabh, please tell us about yourself, where are you from, where you did your undergrad and post-graduation and how probably you thought of taking up oncology. Uh, uh, sir, I am a uh, resident of Jaipur. I've done my MBBS and MD from Jaipur itself, SMS Medical College. And Fantastic. after doing my MD, I joined as a non-academic SR in Ames, New Delhi, uh, where I worked for three months and studied as well and got ranked this time. Brilliant. So that's a very short uh, history that we have got. So good to know SMS Jaipur is a, a fantastic place. I thought of doing my MD medicine from there, but at the same time I had got in uh, Bangalore Medical College. So it is close to my home and I had to kind of choose that. So uh, what drove you to think of oncology as a subject that you would want to pursue a career? In? Sir, actually I was interested by the field itself. Like so many new advancements and things to read actually. The, the only medical field going forwards like rapidly forwards is oncology only like i didn't saw much patients of oncology in my md so i decided let's join uh, oncology and see how it feels so i joined oncology as a non-academic sr and i really liked working there right. so i pursued with it yeah so again a very important point that you're told and which i keep stressing that one needs to work in oncology to understand if you really enjoy it or not because uh, if you frankly see all oncologists outside, they're actually happy people. You uh, Most of the other colleagues think that we are the most depressed people, but it's not that oncologists are the most happy because we value life much more. We realize what is the value of life. We understand how things are for the, our patients. So uh, if you see most of the oncologists are happy people, they're good, uh, uh, nice, uh, jovial people at times. They're not uh, grumpy. Uh, I, I've hardly seen any grumpy oncologists till date. So, uh, Good that you have worked in oncology, which is uh, a, an extremely important part. And uh, definitely about the advances that you told, there are there have been times that I have discussed a therapy option for a patient. And the next day, uh, before I discuss something new, I end up rereading uh, re it again. And by that time, the approval, FDA approval for that drug had been withdrawn. And it just happened like a week ago and I had read the same topic uh, three months back. So that is how things are. Things keep uh, changing pretty fast. And... Uh, it is difficult to catch up, but definitely it is. If if you like it, definitely you will enjoy it. So uh, good that you worked uh, in oncology. Now, uh, like, how did you come to know about doc tutorials and uh, where were we a part of uh, your uh, journey in this? Uh, actually, uh, I got to know about doc tutorials by one of my friends who had joined it earlier. So I initially joined it for NEAT actually for NEAT SS. Right. Uh, then I, I liked the questions of the general medicine. Like there was more practical questions and all. And general medicine was an important part of INI as well. So then I took the oncology part also. And the questions, you know, help a lot because uh, like I didn't got much time to study the whole theory. That's not possible to study the whole theory. So I read the question, read the explanation and uh, read retrospectively mostly. Good. So most of the topics were covered. Right. So uh, we have uh, one of our extremely talented medical uh, medicine faculty, Dr. Rahul Rajiv, uh, who's been inspiring us also to kind of uh, make up good content for the students because uh, which has to be crisp and presentable and which is easily kind of summarized and uh, you can understand and go through uh, the topic easily. Uh, that is what we are looking for. Uh, Vijay? Yeah, hi. Yes, so basically, how was your interview? How did that go about? Sir, mind the interview is uh, pretty basic. So they ask the most basic things like you shouldn't miss on them like they, like they would ask the oncology drugs derived from plants basic statistics like the theory exam which must be difficult as compared to the interview like if you know the basics interview won't bother bother us basically right and uh, that is absolutely true uh drugs derived from plant drugs derived from particular animal uh colored drugs which are not which are colored why methotrexate is yellow so many uh common questions simple question it probably is difficult to find in some of the books at times and uh, only after working in oncology you will be able to answer them well so uh, fantastic so uh, now INISS theory you have told how probably it is difficult and uh, practical aspects also you have told 
So coming forward from here, what are you looking at? How do you think where and what are you planning next? <laughs> now I'm just happy that I got rank cleared this time. <laughs> I haven't thought much far. Like uh, Ames is a very good institution to work in. Like spending three years here in a good on college institution is like itself a great thing. Right. Like, I'll right, spend time and I will sort what I will do after. Like. <laughs> Right. Just, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, even I strongly believe that Ames is a fantastic place to be in. Uh, the medical oncology staff is excellent there. Uh, Lalit sir was there. He was my uh, teacher as well. Never taught me directly, but I've learned a lot from him. Uh, Atul sir, Bakshi sir, they were mentors of my mentors. So I know how they are. So a uh, fantastic place to be in. Good uh, scope for research as well. Uh, good uh, colleagues that you get there. Uh, build up on that. And uh, thank you. So uh, thank you for being a word of... to the students from your point as to what, how do they prepare, how should they prepare for um, INI specifically? So Master, according to me, like oncology, you have to read the basic part. Only the entrance stuff, not high fast stuff, you shouldn't read. Like you shouldn't go by debata line by line. That's not possible. And I don't think even after DM, it's possible to read the whole data. Very true. So read the questions, read, because questions, the questions our teachers make are the high yield concepts only. So if we understand every question we are doing, it's pretty much enough to do it. Secondly, I would suggest uh, people who are trying to prepare oncology to work in an oncology because when you work in important stuff and you get to know if you like the subject or not. So like they should join the AIMS non-academic SR ship is very good to join. Like they, you work like an academic SR. So you learn a lot there. That's Other than that, medicine should be read in a crisp way. Make your own notes, small notes. Do questions of medicine and it's enough. Right. Uh, even I probably suggest in case somebody is really interested to go to AIMS uh, because it is the best place. I would suggest try to work there as a non-acad SR for a few months. Because one, you will learn how, what the subject is. Second, you have an advantage over others. Uh, because definitely you worked in the setting, you might be preferred, so there's nothing wrong in that. But uh, it is a good place to work in, good place to work and learn. So uh, great, Rishabh. Uh, nice having you here. And uh, be a part of this journey uh, going on from uh, here with us as well. Thank you, sir.